Intelligence is defined as the ability to understand abstract concepts. Reason, assimilate, recall, analyze, and organize information, and meet the special needs of new situations. Human intelligence is measured by different IQ tests, but most acceptable is Wexler Adult Intelligence Scale IQ Test. But here is the problem, if you let lots of genius to do IQ tests, including musicians, poets, writers, painters, they may get low IQ score compared to rest of population. Does it mean they have low intelligence? Can we say that? Ludwig van Beethoven or William Shakespeare may have low intelligence? That's why Howard Gardner, American psychologist, proposed eight abilities that manifest multiple intelligences. 1. Linguistic intelligence. Used in reading a book, writing a paper, a novel or a poem, and understanding spoken words, poets and writers mainly have linguistic intelligence. 2. Mathematical intelligence. Used in solving math problems, in balancing a checkbook, in solving a mathematical proof, and in logical reasoning, this intelligence is developed in math-type people. Many professors in universities are with high mathematical intelligence. 3. Spatial Intelligence If you are good at maps, you can easy imagine 3D objects, or just you can packing suitcases in the trunk of a car, so that they all fit into a compact space, it means you have high spatial intelligence. 4. Musical intelligence. Used in singing a song, composing a sonata, playing a trumpet, or even appreciating the structure of a piece of music, musicians and great composers are gifted with musical intelligence. 5. Bodily kinesthetic intelligence. If you are good in any kind of physical sport, or you just love exercise and physical activity, dancing, playing football, running a mile. It means kinesthetic intelligence. 6. Naturalist intelligence. If you have close contact with nature and you understand of patterns and models of nature it means you have naturalist intelligence. For example, you are good at, recognize of flora and fauna, to make other consequential distinctions in the natural world and to use this ability productively for example in hunting, in farming, in biological science. 7. Interpersonal Intelligence If you easily can understand other people's feelings, behavior, motives, or emotions, it means you have interpersonal intelligence. Such people are at managing people, marketing, religious and political leaders. 8. Intrapersonal Intelligence Used in understanding ourselves, the basis for understanding who we are, what makes us tick, and how we can change ourselves, given our existing constraints on our abilities and our interests. Such peoples are good motivational speakers. Gardner also mentioned about existential intelligence, and teaching pedagogical intelligence which allows us to be able to teach successfully to other people. Gardner theory is controversial because lack of evidences. But anyway, common sense tells us that we are different and unique, and we may have different intelligences also.